how do you explain to parents it's okay if things get you know they don't get it right right away and and that you know kind of getting them beyond <laughs> that that worksheet mentality well i mean it is challenging because um parents kind of have like an inbuilt motivation to kind of own the the child's emotions mm. and so like we feel like if the child is having an emotion that we don't agree with uh which is kind of really the ultimate thing yeah. about it right? right i don't want you to feel sad or frustrated mm. or upset mm. or angry um so if they're having an emotion that we don't agree with now we're gonna try to treat that like a fire and put it out and mm. um and that's ultimately uh the worst response you can provide and the reason why yeah. is because it teaches the student that you own their emotions so they also mm -hmm. now start to pick up that you are responsible for their emotions and mm -hmm. you know so you you hear a lot of that like um you know when i was growing up and also like you know, on movies, et cetera, like you watch teenagers or young mm -hmm. adults and they want to blame their parents for their emotions. Right. Now, the reason why this becomes even more dangerous is because with emotions, if you do not process it and somehow like it gets stuck, right? That's mm. what the PTSD is, potentially speaking, right? Like, yeah. You don't have a chance to process the emotion or what's happening around you. So you never really accept it, but then you're, you're reliving that emotion yes. mm -hmm. throughout the rest of your life. So when you combine those two aspects together, right, mm -hmm. you don't own your emotions, but I'm going to repeatedly, repeatedly feel things that are wrong. And so therefore mm -hmm. I also feel wrong, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is a path that kind of leads to, you know, what people would call mental illness or maybe mm. suicidal thoughts or et, et cetera. Right. And I mean, right. when we look at, you know, kind of this next generation, the millennial generation, and we see kind of how it's coming together, mm. it kind of makes sense mm. because we've been picking up their emotions the entire time. The whole, I'm going right. to give them a trophy, whether they want or not. Yeah. is that right i don't want you to yeah. feel bad here's a trophy mm -hmm. right yeah and that the opportunity to fail is is so important well and the, to be the okay. failure is the opportunity that's that's the real thing uh, yeah yeah so now mm -hmm. if instead of owning the student's emotions right Mm -hmm. We let them know it's completely okay to be frustrated when the ball doesn't go in, right? If it was basketball, that's what you'd say. Yeah, sometimes oh, yeah. I'm frustrated if I don't make mm -hmm. it. Right. Then uh, we get the opportunity to have them shoot again. From a coaching perspective, that's what you want. Go ahead and give it another mm -hmm. shot. Mm -hmm. Maybe you give them a hint. Maybe you give them the why method. That's something we teach. So that's like um, you, you let them answer incorrectly. And you ask them why they think that's the right answer. And when they tell you why, you're going to understand what they don't understand. Right. And now you're going to be able to clarify the language. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, no, so getting, yeah, getting them that help helps. But then at the same time, right, teaching them that within the failure is actually the opportunity for success, right? Because it's like... Right. Uh, the meme yeah. of Thomas Edison going around uh, yeah. on Facebook uh -huh. where they're like, uh, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I don't remember exactly how it goes, but I, I found a thousand different ways not to make a light bulb before I made a light bulb, which is right. the, the exactly. kind of point of it. Mm -hmm.